The first day of October feels more like late autumn. Temperatures not expected to reach the 50s. Rain in the forecast and currently falling. Tough way to have homecoming here on the campus of the Indiana University of Pennsylvania. That's where today IUP will host the Edinburgh Fighting Scots. A pleasant good afternoon, everybody. Matt Janice alongside Sadiq Haynes. And Sadiq, these two teams in very different places right now. IUP struggling, a one and two mark, coming off a disappointing performance last week against Slippery Rock. Meanwhile, Edinburgh playing well, 4-0, top 25 team in the country. And yet the recipe for success for these two teams, very similar, it's by running the football. All I can say is ground and pound. With a guy like Drew Harrell, you know, he's part of a trio of running backs that do a great job on the ground. You know, he's averaging about seven yards a carry right now he's fast and elusive and they'll look to him to get the game started and Harold leads this Edinburgh team in rushing on the year meanwhile for IUP Harvey Tuck leads the PSAC in yards per game on the ground and he is a force ah, what a running back that can give you uh, three games over 100 yards I mean it's exceptional he's a workhorse and uh, they look to him really at the beginning of the game early to get the game started off Harvey Tuck a blue collar player his coach says he is a hard worker and he is what leads this IUP team as they look to get off the schneid and get a victory. A two-game losing streak could come to a close today. Meanwhile, Edinburgh looks to stay undefeated. It's the Fighting Scots and the Crimson Hawks next on the Sports Fever TV Network. One last chance for Ray Wagner. Patience, finally the starter, and he wants to run here on first down and is tackled from behind up near the 30, very close to the first down. It was Thomas who got him. It'll be second down and one, which keeps the clock moving. Yeah, you can see Wagner almost juggle that ball when he broke the line of scrimmage and decided he was going to run. He got it down quick, though, and protected it. So the fumble by Brian Davis gives the football to East Stroudsburg. Quick throw at a first down over the middle to Dusty Reed. That'll move the sticks, stop the clock, although there is a flag down on the far side. Ryan Skelton on the stop. 121 left in this fourth quarter. A six-point Edinburgh lead. Looks like the flag's going to be against East Stroudsburg the way they're walking back. The officials, a long conversation. One of those, uh, looks like it's going to be one of those that has to be from the spot of the foul, so it adds a little bit more confusion usually. And they want to make sure they got it right. This is a critical time in the game, and every yard's going to count. Michael Quinn will finally give us Play. the call. Snap infraction. Offense. It's a five-yard penalty from the previous spot. It'll be second down. Please reset the game clock to one minute, 28 seconds. A snap infraction. <laughs> I didn't hear a single whistle blowing that yeah. one dead. That's a dead ball penalty. Yeah, which is why it took them time. They had to reset the clock. So nice job by the officials to get it right uh, you know certainly this game is far from over and uh, every yard every second on the clock is going to matter for to both of these teams so very nice job by the officiating crew to make sure they got it right out of the way of the PSAP championship game real quickly closing in on halftime still a 7-7 tie slippery rock and good step here a six-point Edinburgh edge East Stroudsburg with the football though Recovering a miracle fumble, Brian Davis coughing it up inside the one-yard line. Denny Dowds pointing to the clock, making sure he gets 128 put back on it. And Denny Dowds around here gets almost <laughs> everything he wants <laughs> in he his 38th season. As well he should. He's probably got a better parking spot than we do, Matt. He should. <laughs> should have his own name on it as well. They'll start the clock, though, now. 125 and ticking. Wagner to throw. Setting up a screen and being hit in the backfield as Dusty Reed. And maybe they should think about a timeout here. Krentz popped him. Clock will run as we'll get near one minute before this thing is snapped. Yeah, and it's a third down play, too. And so they certainly can't spike it. They'll try to reset the formation five wide. They snap it at 102. Wagner fires over the middle. Perfectly thrown football. Caught. At the 35 by Blyler for a first down. Nice defense there by Malik Torin, who made the play. Uh, two important things. You know what? Forget the first down. You want to keep the runner in bounds and keep that clock moving. They restart the clock. We're at 53 seconds to go. And a quick throw. Low, but caught by Reed. To the sideline he goes. Gets as much as he can. And then a flag comes down for a late hit. And that'll get him 15 more. And it's going to move it 
into Edinburgh territory. It looked like it was Kenny Pettis, the guilty party. Yeah, you know, we've called Pettis' number a lot today. He's done a lot of good things, but there you've got to hold off. Clearly the receiver's trying to get out of bounds. Personal foul. Late hit out of bounds. Defense number 21. 15-yard penalty from the end of the run. Automatic first down. And you see on that. You see on that replay, Pettis made no attempt to pull up, and the receiver was clearly a good step out of out of bounds. Here's a better angle. Two full steps out yep. of bounds. Yeah, that's just not a smart play by Pettis, who had a huge play earlier in this game, a pick six that at the time gave Edinburgh a 23-6 lead. Since then, though, 14 of the last 17 points have been scored by East Stroudsburg. Still 47 seconds left. They have it at the Edinburgh 39. They'll empty the backfield. Wagner from the gun. Looking to deal. Has an open read. He'll cut back to the middle. And he will come up just shy of the first down at the 30. East Stroudsburg should use one of their two timeouts. But they won't. Clock will keep running. Corey Hayes on the tackle. And we're going to go under a half minute. Still two timeouts left for East Stroudsburg. Yeah, Reed's got to head to the sideline on that play. Not back up the middle. Really letting a lot of clock go down. 22 seconds with the snap. Wagner has his pass knocked down and almost intercepted. Good defensive play by Krentz again. As he dropped in coverage, Wagner never saw him. As the clock bleeding away. Yeah, you'll see Wagner here. Just a bad pass. Krentz got both hands on it. And, you know, there again we talked about earlier. Sometimes these linebackers and defensive backs, they try too hard to intercept the ball. Krentz's number one priority was to knock that ball down because he had no idea who was behind him. It would have fallen helplessly, but he doesn't know that. So, you know, East Stroudsburg, the receivers, the running backs, and Wagner have to focus on we need to make plays where we can get ourselves out of bounds. They have two timeouts. I think they can use the middle of the field. You just got to call the timeouts. Wagner wants to throw. Pumps left. Throws the right sideline, and it's tipped away. A brilliant defensive effort by Brandon Williams to knock it down at the last second, and it's fourth down for the Warriors. Yeah, and you're exactly right, Matt. If they're going to call, use their timeouts, but for some reason they're not using them. And so if you're not going to use your timeouts or you're saving them for maybe the next time you get a series, and here's that play. So close. It was almost a perfectly thrown football for Jordan Hallman. But Williams, no panic from him whatsoever. Knocked it away at the last second. So here we go, John. Fourth and a game. A long yard. 14 seconds left from just outside the Edinburgh 30. Wagner completes it for a first down. Williams is knocked down at the 22. And they'll take the timeout. Prince on the stop. Seven seconds left. We'll take a quick break. What a football game. Final one of the regular season for Edinburgh. East Stroudsburg, the Fighting Scots of Edinburgh, on top by six. Seven seconds left to go. East Stroudsburg does still have one timeout, but with seven seconds left, in my book, John, I think you have to go to the end zone. It would be very risky to try to get two plays off. Yeah, I agree. And Wagner was in the huddle with his team with his helmet off imploring on this. is Wagner could be the last snap of a football career that probably started when he was five or six years old. Can he get it in the end zone? Seven seconds left. Wagner with four receivers will go for the shotgun. Steps up, throws, end zone, caught, touchdown! Dusty Reed on the touchdown catch, and they're an extra point away from a win with no time on the clock. Wow, what a play by Wagner. Drop back. It was obviously, they were only going to run one more play, Matt. That was designed that it's all or nothing. You see Wagner drop back, finds Reed across the middle, hits him right in the numbers, not even touched in for a touchdown. And now we go to the extra point. Remember, Romanis missed an extra point which has allowed this game to possibly be decided by an extra point. Romanis missed it back at the 4-12 mark of the second quarter after battles ran in from one yard out. Taylor Groff, one of the best kickers in the country with no time left on the clock for a walk-off win. East Stroudsburg on senior day from behind and beats Edinburgh in the most dramatic fashion possible. A 27-26 win on the last play of the game. And what a way to wrap up your career if you're Ray Wagner. You take your team the length of the field 
and you execute a two-minute drill to perfection. A 27-26 win as East Stroudsburg gets it done, and you can see a very happy group of Warriors. That'll do it for us. What a victory here today. A great game, a great season. PSAC football on the Sports Fever Television Network. For Shanna, for John, I'm Matt Janis. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for this season. Once again, your final score, East Stroudsburg 27 and Edinburgh 26. Have a great day.